name is Juliet Pula, and for this month's project, mine is about veterinary orthopedic surgeons specializing in orthotics and prosthetics. So first of all, what is a veterinary orthopedic surgeon? A veterinary orthopedic surgeon specializes in surgeries to fix injuries and treat diseases in the bones, joints, ligaments, and tendons. So what are orthotic and prosthetic differences? Orthotics, they're like a cast, but they're on an existing leg, and they increase stability and decrease pain. Prosthetic replaces amputated or cut off leg, so they become part of the dog. And things that could require a prosthetic would be illnesses, birth defects, and trauma accidents. So, what issues does a veterinary orthopedic surgeon have to discuss with the pet owner before making a decision about whether to use prosthetics or orthotics? They have to consider the animal's age. They have to consider, are the bones strong enough and big enough and not too weak? Do they, they have to consider, will the prosthetic get wet and they need to make it waterproof? Will they need to consider, they need to make sure it's comfortable so they don't cause the animal any more pain, because that's not what they're trying to accomplish. They also have to consider, is the surgical risk worth the reward, or is the risk so big that they're probably going to fail? And do they even have the tools needed to do the surgery? And will it rub and hurt the animal? They also have to consider, will it give the animal a good quality of life? I think this veterinary orthopedic surgeon is really interesting. His name is Noel Fitzpatrick. His in his college, he went to the University of Dublin in Ireland, and he currently practices in England. He owns two hospitals, and they both specialize in neurosurgery, which is a study about how the nerves work, and orthopedics, which is studying about how the bones work. And in 2009, he became the first to apply two prosthetic back legs to a cat and succeed. And Oscar is the cat he did it on. And Oscar is a two-year-old cat, and he lives outdoors, and he was on the field one day, and there was a combine harvester, which is this thing, going along the field. Nobody really is sure what's, what happened, but somehow Oscar's back feet got caught in the blade and he had to get rushed to a knoll to get surgery done. And the feet couldn't be saved, so he had to shave the bone off and able for, to do surgery. And in order to do that, he had to drill holes in the two ankle bones and then put metal rods into them. And the metal rods weren't smooth. The reason they weren't smooth <coughs> is because the bone had to grip onto the little metal rod so it won't break off. And then after that heel, he put on prosthetic legs and they looked like bottle bottle stoppers. After that, Oscar couldn't be an outdoor cat because he wasn't as fast as he used to be, so he couldn't escape from predators easily. Now I want to introduce a mechanical engineer named Derek Campana. The reason I picked him for my next slide is because if him and Noel work together as a team, they would do really good because Derek does the, he makes the prosthetics and orthotics, and Noel does the surgery. Derek originally went to school for human prosthetics, and one day a vet, his friend that was a veterinarian came to him with a dog that needed a prosthetic leg, and asked him, could you make a prosthetic leg for this dog? And Derek said that he, he'll try, but he doesn't really know how to. So he tried and succeeded, and then he made his own business. 90% of his patients are dogs, but he also works on farm animals, and he even worked on two elephants that stepped on land mines. His, his devices are made from mechanical grade plastic and foam, and on average, one device costs about $500 to $1,200. Veterinarian, pet owners, and rehab facilities
Louise around the world sent him plaster molds made from limb casts. So why I picked this career? I picked this career because I can watch surgeries and I don't think of it like it's really gross. I look at it from a scientific mind like, ooh, that's really cool. And that's how that goes where and why he did that. I also believe that helping animals is really important so they can live a really good life and not be miserable. I also think about learning about bodies and nerves and the brain and how they all connect to each other in animals is really interesting and cool. Also, this job is a lot about problem solving and you have to use your brain a lot. It's kind of like a challenge. And I love puzzles, so that's why I took this group. And you're probably wondering how Oscar is doing. And this is an updated video of how he's doing. So that is the end of my presentation about veterinary orthopedics.